Hey guys, welcome back to my channel in my last Bath & Body Works review of the bunch. Today I will be reviewing the new scent in the Rainbow Collection from Bath & Body Works called Daydream. So I picked this one up in the shower gel because at the time that's all that they had. So this has kind of that rainbow ombre packaging on the inside. I think it's super, super pretty. This comes in a variety of different types that you can pick it up in, all the normal body care, but this also comes in a hand soap and a three wick candle. So I think they anticipate this one being, being a good seller. I will mention, like I mentioned in the last couple of videos, that the bleh, that Bath & Body Works has seemed to raise their prices on body care. So pay attention to that when you are purchasing your body care. It might not be exactly what you thought it used to be. So let's check out daydream here um rainbows fill a clear blue sky a new day lies ahead and the world is yours it's time to daydream keynotes are fresh raspberries sparkling pear and pink lily petals so i mentioned this in the dream in the sky review i also had picked up the shower gel in that fragrance that i really couldn't smell these very well as a shower gel even in the shower i could not smell them very well this is the same boat with this one. I don't know, um, I have reviewed other fragrances from this collection in the Ultra Shea Body Creams, and those I've been able to smell perfectly fine, so I don't know if it's just a form issue or if it's these particular scents. It seems like to me it's a form issue. I would be interested in trying both Daydream and Dreams in the Sky in the Ultra Shea Body Cream rather than the shower gel, just because I feel like I would maybe smell them better. Because even in the shower, you guys, this one, it's really hard to get a grasp on what it is or smell it. It just, to me, smells a little bit of floral and a little bit of fruity. I really can't pick up if it's the raspberries, the pear, the pink lily petals. But to me, like I said, it just smells slightly fruity and slightly floral. Super, super weak on cold sniff and in the shower. So I'm having a really hard time giving you great thoughts on this. Um, like I said, I would be interested in going to the store and, and trying a different form of it. I think I would definitely like this scent if I could get a better grasp on what it smelled like because I love kind of the fruit notes in it. It smells good on cold, what I can get, but it's just so light that I can't get too much of it. I have never experienced Bath & Body Works other than these two shower gels before not being able to smell them. So this is definitely like a new thing for me. Um... However, this might be totally up somebody's alley. If you are somebody that doesn't love cloyingly sweet scents or somebody that loves super strong scents, you just want a hint of something. And if you like a hint of floral and fruity, you pick up Daydream because then it's perfect for you. For me, I want scent to just like overwhelm me. I love fragrance and so I want strong scents. I want to be able to smell them and I just really can't do much with this one. Um, but there's a you know a person for this scent people don't love to be just drowning in fragrance like i do so i totally get if something like this is more up your alley than it is mine um when i i'm going to take some of these fragrances back that i don't really care for back to bath and body works and i want to like i said smell this one and maybe the candle maybe that will give me a better idea of what it's like and also dreams in the sky because dreams in the sky is a scent that I think I would really, really like if I could just smell it better. So I wish I had better thoughts on this one for you, but like I said, I just can't smell it. So if you like fruity and you like floral, I would definitely pick this one up and give it a try um, and just be aware, at least in the shower gel, it's a little bit weaker than, than other scents. But that's everything I have to share with you guys. Have you tried this scent? What do you think about it? Or are you interested in any of the other ones from this collection? I would love to know what your favorites are. And that is it for all of my reviews. This was the last one. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing little quick reviews on all these fragrances. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.